Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pager, here once again with another video on The Flash Season 5. And this is going to be my trailer breakdown for Episode 10 for this season, otherwise known as the mid-season premiere, otherwise entitled The Flash and the Furious. But of course, before we get into anything else, let's actually watch that trailer. Have I not given you everything that you wanted? A chance to go back to see your father. Uh, uh, to run with the Flash. No! This is your legacy. Another broken family. The Flash. All new episodes return Tuesday, January 15th on The CW. So, um, yeah, cool trailer. A lot of cool things here. But obviously, the last thing that happened in The Flash, excluding the crossover, so episode 8, that was the 100th episode. But obviously, we ended off that, uh, you know, that episode with Nora going to the Time Vault, you know, scanning her little notebook or journal with those little symbols in there. And there's a message sent off, but she actually goes to her recipient to deliver a personal message. And who's her recipient? Well, we're going to the future, to Iron Heights, and who's there? Well, it's the reverse Flash himself, Eobard Thorne. So she is, you know, not necessarily working with him, but there definitely, uh, there's a partnership going on there. Well, I guess that's working with him, isn't it? Anyway, now there is no synopsis for this episode as of yet. I'm sure we'll probably get it in like the next week or so. It's hard to tell because we are actually in the mid-season break now. The show isn't back until, you might have seen it in the trailer, until January 15th. Flash comes back and then I think Supergirl and Arrow come back the week after. So Flash, I think, is the first show to come back from mid-season break for any of the shows. So yeah, January 15th, we're waiting until, uh, but yeah, we should get a, uh, a synopsis at, you know, sometime soon, I'm guessing. But of course, let me know in the comments section down below what caught your eye the most in the trailer. What are you looking forward to the most? Just let me know all of your general opinions as well as what we talk about in this trailer breakdown. And of course, if you are hyped for the Flash return and just want to show your support, uh, be sure to drop a like on the video. It is very much appreciated. Now, episode titles were released a while ago from for uh, episode 10 and 11 of this season. Now, 10, this episode, was actually called Spin Out, and 11 was called The Flash and the Furious. So I don't know if that was a mix up there because obviously this episode is called The Flash and the Furious, which was meant to be episode 11. So I don't know if it's a mix up there or if there's a mix up by the CW with like the titling of this trailer and its release. I have no idea. I mean, they did do it with episode seven. They gave that the wrong uh, title in the trailer when they released it on their YouTube channel. So that might've happened here. <laughs> Who knows? I have to wait and see. But we do start off the trailer by seeing Nora in the speed lab. We've seen her there before. She just seems to be doing like some training. Almost almost like she's just trying to act normal, like not cause any suspicions possibly. One question that a lot of people have been asking is where was Nora during the Elseworlds crossover? Like, shouldn't she have been there? She wasn't even mentioned at all. There was no reference to her. So was she just in the future that whole time? Maybe she was in the speed lab for God knows how long throughout the entire crossover when relevant. Or maybe she just didn't exist in that reality. That's like a, a simple thing that could have been done in the Elseworlds crossover. Just maybe in that reality, she didn't exist, even though the only changes seem to be that Barry and Oliver were each other. So I don't know what happened there. It's one of the big questions from Elseworlds. A lot of people were asking it constantly on the comment section of my videos for it. So I don't have an answer. It's just like they just didn't want to work around just to keep another character out. So I have no clue. Now, we do see Barry lying on the ground here. He does look like drained by the looks of it. You know, Cicada is involved in this scene, but it looks like he's possibly lost his power. We do see Ralph or Elongated Man behind him. But while this and other stuff is playing out on the screen in the trailer, we actually do hear Earbud Thorne say, have I not given you everything you want? A chance to go back to see your father, to run with the Flash. And this is when we actually do end up seeing Eobard and Nora back in that future in High and Heights. Now, I guess the big question is, is this where the episode will kick off? Like, will episode 10 just continue from where episode 8 left off with Nora in the future with Reverse Flash? And maybe they explain what's going on and we learn some more details as to what, you know, what Nora is trying to do specifically and what Reverse Flash is trying to get out of it. Or will Nora revisit, you know, Eobard at some point throughout the episode and maybe Team Flash gets a hint of some time traveling as to what Nora is doing. So, uh, have to wait and see, I guess. Now, we do see a little girl with a Flash toy and a Flash comic here in what looks like to be a Flash gift shop of sorts. Like, there's all this Flash stuff in the background. I think there's even, like, Flash coffee bags and stuff like that. Now, that comic book that that little girl is reading is actually a Flash comic, and it does look to have Cicada in it from the comics, like the, the comic-looking Cicada, like the bold dude with the glasses and the big beard. That's from what I can see, at least, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. And you can see a bit of it there. Now, this comic, I'm 99.76% sure, is actually volume two 
uh, issue number 172 of The Flash, written by Jeff Johns back in, I think, 2001. Now, we'll put the actual page and the comic cover on the screen right now. That, I'm pretty sure, is what this girl is reading. I'm sure we'll get a closer look at that, uh, look at it in the comics, uh, in the episode, might I say. But I guess if this woman, uh, this girl here is reading the comic and it's have that cicada, you know, person there. Is that what cicada is meant to look like in the original timeline before Nora changed it? Interesting. This is almost like Logan. Remember in Logan how um, X-23 has like the X-Men comics? <laughs> It's almost like that. It's really, really meta. It's, it's it's extremely meta, actually. I guess the big question around this is whether that girl is Nora. Now, we did have a younger Nora appear back in, I think it was episode three of this season, when we went to a flash forward, I guess, but also like a flashback of Nora's life in the Flash Museum. And I think that was the year 2032. So Nora would have been about like nine or 10 years old. So we saw that Nora there. This girl looks younger. Um, so this could be a younger Nora. It, it's hard to tell. The only thing that makes me think that it is Nora is that she is wearing yellow, purple, and white. And obviously, those three colors are the primary colors of Nora's suit. If you look at Nora's suit, it's yellow, purple, and a lot of white. So that just makes me think that that's Nora. The show loves to do that. Like, when, you know, you know when a character you know, is walking around, like, even, like, Roy Harper always wore, like, a red hood. He became Arsenal. Barry, when he was younger, wore a lot of red. So they do like to hint at a person's, like, future look as a superhero when they're younger and, like, the clothes and colors that they wear. So... This makes me think that it's Nora. Also, we know that Nora was a massive Flash, like, fangirl. And there's a Flash toy there, Flash comic. I don't know. It just seems that it's Nora. This is then when we see Barry as well as Iris. And you, you can sort of see, like, the top of her head here. Like, there's a better shot of Iris in, you know, in this scenario later on. But you can sort of see Iris here. But where are they? And no, it's not Apartment 4. So people that already had started typing it in, I'm sorry, it's not Apartment 4. Good thought, though. Good option. But I'm sorry, it's not Apartment 4. Now, they look to have time travel to the future, possibly, or is this maybe vibing with Cisco? It's hard to tell. Now, you might be going, oh, Paige, when they vibe, it's like blue in the background and stuff. Yes, I know, but we've had that happen before, where it looks like we're time traveling or whether it be to the future or the past. However, when the episode actually comes out, they've added like the vibe sort of like blue filter over it. So it's hard to tell at this point whether it is a vibe or they're actually time traveling. But they do end up in that, like, flash, like, gift shop of sorts. So, yeah, I don't know why they would end up there if they're time traveling. So, I'm starting to think this, this might just be a vibe, but we'll have to wait and see. In another shot later on, though, you do see Iris in the Hall of Villains from the Flash Museum. Like, once again, that we saw back in episode three. So, it seems that possibly the time travel adventure in the 100th episode has just, like, opened the floodgates to time traveling this season. I mean, usually it's a massive sin, but we did in episode eight. Nothing really went wrong. So, let's just do it all the time now. But in the background, you can see Barry, like, pinning someone against the wall. Who is that? Like, they seem to be wearing, like, fully black, or at least their pants are completely black. It could be Nora, but I don't think Barry would be that rough with Nora, to be completely honest. Like, Barry looks like he's definitely pinning whoever that is pretty rough. Um, I did see someone say that it could be, like, someone in DeVoe's suit, because they're next to DeVoe's chair. I think DeVoe's suit was on the other side of that chair. I don't think that's the case. A possibility is that it could be the future Cicada. That's an option. Um, you don't really see a face. You just know that that is Barry that's holding that person against the wall. I guess the big question is like, what are they doing in the Flash Museum? I'm intrigued as hell. If it is vibing, then you have to think they're just like touching stuff that belongs to Nora. Maybe they're going through Nora's notebook and touching specific pages because they might not be able to translate it if they're touching the specific pages or Cisco is at least touching the specific pages that Nora's written down, you know, all these different symbols. He might be able to vibe to what they mean. Like he might not get a full translational understanding of what they mean, but he can get a general understanding of what they're referencing. So different points throughout time. So we could vibe to the Flash Museum, that Flash gift shop, to different points in Nora's younger life and maybe even vibe to places in present day where Nora's been that we haven't been. And it might be at this point where Cisco maybe vibes and sees Nora talking to Eobard Thorne, which could be like the big holy crap moment. And Barry and Iris are like, we're angry. Why are you doing this young daughter? But speaking of the gift shop, we actually do see the 2024 newspaper in there. So I guess Barry's still disappearing. But getting back to present day, we do see Barry waking up in the pipeline with Nora looking at him in like a sort of menacing way. But I think this is like a massive misdirect from this trailer. I think Barry may have been acting like 
acting like abnormally, which was a risk for everyone else, or he was infected with something, maybe mentally or physically, something like that. As they did show like some like shots in another teaser or a sneak peek that was on TV that showed Barry coming out of the pipeline and saying something along the lines of like, thank God I'm out of here or something like that with Team Flash like smiling and laughing, that including Nora. And in that sneak peek thing as well, we also saw Sherlock in the time vault. So it appears that he may be seeing Nora's messages to Eobard Thorne. And speaking of Nora's messages, we do actually see, I'm pretty sure this is this is Sherlock writing those symbols down here. I'm pretty sure uh, basing off you know that off like the fact that it's like an older looking white hand. This is most likely Sherlock's hand. It could be Eobard Thorne in the future's hand, but this like looks too light for that prison that he's in. And then we do see, I'm pretty sure, Sherlock again at the computer again with like the translator. So it looks like Sherlock is going all in with like this like exposed video on Nora. We also see Cisco with glasses on, possibly at the Speed Force computer as well, like trying to, or the Speed Force code computer trying to de decipher it all. Once again, it's hard to tell because you get like half a second of it in the trailer. Now, we do have Barry screaming, no, while hunched over Nora's body. You can just see the top of her suit in this screenshot here. So... What happens to her? Now, this isn't like a fight with Cicada, so this could be like the first time that Nora is properly affected by Cicada's dagger. Technically, in the 8th episode, you know, the 100th episode, she got blown away by the blast of it, but we haven't specifically seen the dagger, like, be stuck in the ground and Nora's, you know, abilities be dragged out and sucked back into the dagger. We haven't seen that specifically happen. So this could be the first episode in which Nora is directly affected by the dagger, maybe individually. So that could be pretty interesting. Now we do see Sakata here quickly. Now he is actually in a new trench coat here. It is sort of hard to tell from these screenshots and just, and just the trailer in general, but we know from set photos that he has like a new trench coat that when it's actually like looking from the back, it actually does look like the wings and stuff of a proper Sakata like the insect so that's pretty cool design but the fact that he's got a new trench coat in this episode makes you think that he's going to be sticking around for a few more episodes if not maybe the whole season now we also hear someone say this is your legacy another broken family now the first part could be Eobard Thorn, hard to tell but the second part definitely sounds like Cicada so has Cicada gotten more powerful since we last saw him I mean, a new trench coat could, you know, might mean more power. Who knows? It's, you know, you know, new clothes give you new confidence sometimes. So maybe in the case of Cicada, a new trench coat gives him a bit more abilities. Who knows? Maybe he can fly quicker. Who knows? Maybe those, you know, that trench coat looks like wings. Maybe he can glide. Who knows what's happening with Cicada? But, you know, he has a new trench coat. So maybe his powers are, have increased. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like on it to show your support. Let me know in the comment section down below your various uh, thoughts on this trailer. What are you looking forward to the most? Um, I know it's a bit of a break until The Flash. We've got basically exactly a month until it comes back. But, you know, time flies by. Time will flash by. Let's, we'll call it that. So hopefully it's back in no time. But yeah, of course, yeah, just leave all those opinions down there. And if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.